Yeah, that's right. Kind of a neat uh, celestial event here. A little bit rare to see two comets in the night sky. But uh, what is a comet, first of all? It's a, it's a celestial body made of ice, dust, and rock. You know, we've had them before in the past. It orbits the sun and is often called a dirty snowball. Yeah, sometimes that term comes out. But as a comet gets closer to the sun, it actually heats up and releases a cloud of gas and dust, which forms a glowing coma. And that long tail, which always points away from the sun. Interesting, right? All right, so we got two to talk about this time. We have Comet Lemon. That was the, discovered there back in January, just this year, January 2025, also referred to as C2025A6. And that's going to pass about 55 million miles from the Earth. It's visible in the west-northwest horizon horizon about one hour after sun, sunset, if you want to take a look at that. But get to an area where there's uh, some dark skies. Use the binoculars or small telescope if you want to see it really well. You can probably see it with the naked eye, but again, it'll be better. Now, the next five days is the peak of movement viewing Comet Lemon. After that, it starts to dwindle a little bit. So if you want to do it, next few days would be great. We also have Comet Swan, a second comet, C2025 R2. 24 million miles. That was discovered September 2025, and that will be visible in the southwest lower horizon after sunset. Again, binoculars, small telescope recommended. And if you can get out with all the clear, dry weather we've been seeing, this might be a great opportunity to see not one, but two comets. Enjoy.